Nathan is the cheekiest, happiest little boy you could ever meet. Oh, snips. <laughs> the reason why my family started using Helen Douglas House was I had twin sons, Benjamin and Oliver, were born with a rare generic terminal illness, unfortunately. Morning, Max. Here at Helen House, we get to deliver one-to-one -one care which means each nurse or care team member looks after one patient and that means you get to really get to know the patient. Oh, good high five! Nathan was referred by his community nurse when she realised that I was his sole carer and things were getting a little bit, little bit hard at home with um, me needing a little bit of a rest. You're just constantly being a carer a physiotherapist, a doctor, and there's never a chance to be yourself. When Nathan's here, I get to spend time with my other children and do things that we can't when we've got Nathan. It gives them time to have mummy. People describe it as the Helen and Douglas house bubble. And it is, it's a quiet area where you get to put down all the stresses outside, the normal life stuff and the extra needs that these children come with, and just be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get it out? Yeah. First time hospice got mentioned to me, um, I got scared because in my eyes hospice was for end of life care. I painted this image in my mind that it would be this sad and sombre place, but I couldn't have been <laughs> further from the truth. It was this happy, wonderful environment to be in. There was always something going on but there's always this air of calmness about it. They're not carers, they're not nurses, they're my friends, they're family. Some of them are even becoming family. They are the ones I turn to when I need the help. The pain of losing a child is immeasurable, but with the support of Helen Douglas House, not just the care staff, everyone in the hospice, they just help you to carry on. They don't tell you that everything will be okay, but they do tell you that life will go on, you will find happiness again, you will get through it. <laughs> this is Nathan's favourite place in the world. Every day he asks to come. We are a charity, almost entirely funded by the public, and we need your help. Please donate today to help local terminally ill children and their families.